I am Anil Kumar sharing with you solution of one of the questions in the book written by Nelson, Advanced Functions. This is for my subscriber on YouTube, Mr. Ellen. Now, Ellen, thanks for asking me this question. It has a question which is also asked in chapter 6.7 where we will be dealing with instantaneous and average rate of change for trigonometric functions. So, I have incorporated both these uh, uh, questions in my videos. You can also have a look in section 6.7 for average and instantaneous rate of change. The question here is the function p of t equals to 100 minus 20 cos 5 5 by 3 t models the blood pressure p in millimeters of mercury at time t in seconds of a person at rest. What is the period of the function? What does the period represent? Part B is, how many times does this person's heart beat each minute? And part C is, sketch the graph of P of T for first three seconds. So kind of modified this question since a very limited space. Okay, so let's begin by finding the period of the function. Since P of T equals to 100 minus 20 cos 5 pi by 3, we know that the K value is 5 pi by 3, right? And therefore, T should be equal to 2 pi by K, perfect. So it is 2 pi divided by 5 pi over 3, right? So pi and pi cancels. And 3 goes on the top, so we get T equals to 3 times 2, let me write like this, 3 times 2 over 5 or 6 over 5, right? You may write it in decimals also, 1.10 is 2. So 1.2, that is the time period in seconds. So that's your answer for what is the period of the function. So period of the function is 1.2 seconds. Let me write t equals to 1.2 seconds. Now, what does the period represent? So, it's the time difference between two heartbeats, right? That is what it represents. Now, it's related with part B. It says, how many times does this person's heart beat each minute, right? So, it takes 1.2 seconds to beat the heart, right, once, right? So, in one minute, there are how many seconds? There are 60 seconds, right? So, we can say that one heartbeat, so one beat is in 1.2 seconds. That is what it means when we say period of the function, right? So in one second, one second, number of heartbeats will be how many? Number of beats will be 1 divided by 1.2 correct 1 divided by 1.2 so in 60 there are 60 seconds in a minute so 60 seconds number of beats will be 60 times 1 over 1.2 so that gives us the answer as 60 divided by 1.2 which is 50 So there are 50 beats in one minute for this particular person, right? So there are, so when it says, how many times does this person's heart beat each minute? So it'll be 50 times, All right? Now the question is, sketch the graph of P of T for first three seconds. So we'll have three seconds means almost three cycles, right? So 1.2 is one cycle, so almost three cycles. Now, I'll use my standard way of sketching the function, starting with the axis, which is 100, right? So let us say this is our axis. So here, y value is 100, correct? Now, as you can see, the maximum is 20, right? Amplitude, I should say. So the maximum will be 100 plus 20. So somewhere here along this line, and minimum will be 20 less, right? So this line represents maximum, which will be 120. And this will be less by 20, around 80. We are looking for cosine function without any phase shift, right? 
So that means it starts with the minimum, right? So we can always sketch the cosine function like this, right? But I have to make three cycles. I made it very big. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> okay, I don't think you can see it. Let me do it this side also. Okay, it's not that good. Anyway, so I forgot that I have to make three. Anyway, so this is kind of 80. Cosine starts with, with because it is negative, it has to start from the minimum, right? So I have an option. I can say one cycle, two cycle, and this is the third cycle. So in this particular case, I'll draw my line here. Okay, sorry for this mess. Okay, so that becomes the y-axis, right? We are starting with the minimum. That's kind of important to understand. Let me break the scale and then draw the x-axis along this side. Perfect. Now we know that each cycle is is 1.2. So this, these are my 1.2s, right? So, got it? Kind of like this. So that's our, let me push it a bit on the right side. I hope now it is better for you, right? So on the x-axis, we have time t, right? t in seconds, starting with zero. So this is 1.2, so that becomes 2.4, and this is 3.6, right? Now, these points are the midway between, so 0 0.6, you can add 0 0.6 to these values, so it means 1.8, and that will be approximately at 3.0. So we just managed to show three cycles on this particular sheet. I wasn't really expecting that I'll get it. It's good. So minimum, this point is 80 for us. Let me write here, 80. The X is here is 100. Okay, sorry for the mess, but this is 120 for us, the maximum. Correct? So that is how you can actually sketch this particular function. Right? So I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.